So Singapore taking on Thailand, who finished fourth in battle for the gold medal. Singapore's last group game was against Thailand. They won it 3-2. They were 3-0 up, but had a couple of late goals in. Very warm and humid again here today. Humidity is a little bit lower than it has been, but 33% temperature, feeling a lot warmer today with just a, a very light breeze, but not too much inside the stadium. Singapore took the silver medal, losing to Malaysia in the final in 2013. But they'll be looking to go out on a high. As I say, they were 3-0 up against Thailand in their last group game, but two late goals got Thailand back into it. And it was a three-goal swing, the goal difference in the end between Singapore and Myanmar for second spot. Myanmar finishing on minus two, Singapore on minus five. So had they not conceded those two late goals against Indonesia, it would have been a single goal somewhat agonizing way to miss out on a gold medal match there is the Thailand team Thailand's women lost out to Malaysia's women in the final yesterday Enrico Maricam there on the right hand side the Singapore captain Surasak is the Thailand captain. Thailand didn't win any of their four matches in the group. A draw and three defeats. So Singapore will certainly feel confident that they can get the medal here. Rajan Krishnan there with his back to the camera just issuing a few final instructions to his team <laughs> Thailand coached by <laughs> Kim Kyung Soo <laughs> Played well in that game against Singapore, so they did manage to get those two late goals to add a little bit more respectability to the scoreline. One man they will be mindful of today is Mohamed Yahuri, who scored three penalty corners in that match. They were three for three at one point, Singapore. But the, possibly the worrying part for Rajan Krishnan is they didn't manage to score any field goals in that game. They relied very much on those three penalty corners. So we will have the teams lining up in the national anthems before we start as it is the medal match taking place today. Singapore got off to a great start in the group, 6-4 win over Indonesia. Thailand were beaten by Myanmar who have been exceptional in this tournament to date. 2-2 two -two between Singapore and Myanmar. Singapore then lost to Malaysia 9-1. But then won their final game against Thailand. Those three Yohari penalty corners helping to win the game by three goals to two. Lenbury and Thanakrit getting the late goals for Thailand to add that respectability. So the teams will line up in the middle of the pitch and we will have the two national anthems, the anthem of Thailand and the anthem of Singapore.
is taken care of the two national anthems well just about ready to go Singapore's women clinched the bronze medal yesterday against Indonesia there's the starting 11 for Singapore trying to do the same here in the men's Wee Wee Juan is the starting goalkeeper once again Gary Lee had been in goal for the last couple of matches Enrico American is the captain and number 30 Sabri Yahuri who scored those three penalty corners he's one of the top defenders for Singapore Rajan Krishnan is the man in charge Thailand starting 11 so Lenbury and Bunard were the two goal scorers when these sides met Lenbury starting among the replacements you have those rolling substitutes of course which means players can come and go at any time provided it's not while we're waiting for a short corner to be taken and with the heat as it is today 33 degrees you will see quite a lot of tone turnaround in terms of personnel Kim Kyung Soo is the Thailand coach Salial Belushi is our one umpire today from Oman and Ilma Wijoya from Indonesia is the other Singapore all in red then certainly be looking to get off to a good start it took them until the 26th minute to open the scoring when they played Thailand just a couple of days ago straight after that they needed Malaysia to beat Myanmar by nine goals to nil for Singapore to make it into the gold medal match but Malaysia could only manage six great celebrations from the Myanmar players at the final whistle despite the fact they'd lost six nil they knew they were heading for a crack at the goal so here we go then, it's the countdown to the pushback and the hockey bronze medal match is underway. Singapore against Thailand from the National Hockey Stadium here in Kuala Lumpur. by Sing Thong American forward to Kamzani pushed wide by Ferdows 
Shibrahim. Silas Abdul Razak, the number nine, was a busy little player the other night against Thailand without having too much luck in front of goal. It's gone behind off Srilit Stick. Good play. Pushed out by the goalkeeper. No one able to follow up and get a touch in. It's been a good start this by Singapore. <laughs> Just went away from Grow all over on that far side. down the line again clash of sticks so Singapore free hit Kamzani gets it across first short corner of the game it's flicked a heel of a Thailand defender one and Chen the goalkeeper just questioning that decision seemed to think it had come off the Singapore player rather than his own but the umpire said it came off a, a Thailand leg so first short corner of the game and as we said, this is where Yohari really excelled in that match the other night against the Thais. So they know all about his prowess in front of goal. This will be pushed out by Van der Put. There he is, the number 30. To the left of the picture. Needs a good push out to him. Thailand were a man short on the line. They've just brought someone back to give them that five outfield players. And he does it again. Top corner for Yahari. And Singapore have taken an early lead here. Excellent finish. There's a player on the line as well, but such was the pace on that ball. He just couldn't get a stick anywhere near it. And Yahari makes it. 1-0 to Singapore. Third minute of the match. It's a dangerous hit. Done a kick with the, or the infringement rather, given away for the ball, which was uh, dangerously played in. Can loft the ball when there's no players inside, but if there's players nearby, then it is deemed dangerous. It's pushed against the legs of a Thailand defender once again, so a free hit to Singapore. Back on the attack once again, this is Shekhan. Lembry. Oh, 
Yahari going for that long ball over the top. That's well defended, though. And challenged by Prebash. Singapore going in search of an equaliser comes off the stick of Grewal away by Ibrahim it's given away to Sexit Marikan Zulkepli And the free hit Singapore, played already by Grewal. Marikan. Forward by Yahari, it was a good ball collected by Vanderput. Still, Singapore will have the ball from the 23 yard line. Kamzani, it was with the shot that took the deflection. Singapore just struggling to get out of their own half at the moment. Sadakorn plays it forward. And back again by Ibrahim. Foul given away by Norman Teo. They just ran out of play, I think. I don't think Fong Lembry managed to keep that one in. Yahari with the push in for Singapore. Hey, 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 hey. 
Down the line by Zilkupli, looking for the run of Ndfazi. Singapore's ball from the 23-yard line. Grow up. It's Mode Ibrahim trying to get that one across, but blocked again by Thailand, who've managed to defend well. They, as I say, restricted Singapore to those three penalty goals, penalty corner goals in the first meeting, so no field goals. So they know slouches in defence. In fairness, Singapore didn't create a huge amount in that first match between the sides. Marikan. Still Kepley. There's a man over there, Teo trying to push it through. Always looking to try and push the ball against the feet of the opposition to try and win those penalty corners in a in the dangerous positions. yard hit Singapore unable to keep the ball in play so it goes back to Thailand so silver medal in the last two versions of the Asian Games Singapore both losing out to Malaysia Currently ranked 40th in the FAH rankings. Well caught in possession. There's a chance here now for Van der Put. Got a man in the middle if he can find him. He's a good ball across by Van der Put. And surely. Oh, what a miss. It's a swipe and air shot which gives a free hit to Thailand. But what a chance that was for Norman Teo right in front of goal great work by van der Putten. he only had to put the ball in but you see the swing completely missed the ball and that is given as a foul and the chance for singapore to grab a field goal goes begging and they should have scored there's actually good defending by the man on the line because i don't think taylor would have got that second chance couldn't bring that one under control Yahari will get it clear 17 seconds left before the end of the first quarter
So that's the end of the first quarter then. A good quarter for Singapore. One goal to show for their efforts. Penalty corner goal from Yuhuri. Well struck into the top corner again. And at the end of the first quarter in the bronze medal match, it's Singapore 1, Thailand 0. ตอนนี้ครับปูนจ้ารอนูรุนากาอิจิสุดเทนดิงานิกะครับคุณแน่นอนบอลรอนจีเอสกาจีวิ่งเข้าหาบอลวิ่งเข้าหาบอลครับอ
both in the Malaysia match and in the Thailand game from the short corners. Trying to work an angle. Oh, it's played against the defender. Good defending by Singapore. Still the danger's not over. Oh, it is now, though. Dangerous hit. Well, it was well worked by Thailand, but not well enough to beat the goalkeeper. Coach turns away in frustration. Kicked away by Wee Wei. Straight away at the other end, it's Singapore back on the attack, but again unable to find a way through. Yiru Tan facing his own goal. Mary Khan plays it against the stick of Sexit. sure that they don't foul but they have fouled it's a another short corner it's come off the heels of Akash Prebash so a second penalty corner here for Thailand didn't manage to convert the first will they try the same move again or will they go for the, the more direct approach this time with a first time shot Sack with the push out. Oh, it's a poor push out though from Pong Sack and the coach again. He won't be happy with that. And they might have another one here. Yep, another short corner came off the shins the umpire tried to see if there was an advantage if they'd have managed to get a shot in on goal just got the stick caught up on the surface pong sack that's where the ball hit the legs of yohari we'll try again now pong sack again that's better they've gone for that same angle again and once again it's hit the shin so another penalty corner Making hard work of these though, Thailand. Singapore need to keep their discipline at the back, which they've done so far. Now they go direct, and it's just wide. Didn't take a touch on the way through, so it will be a 16-yard hit. Surasat caught it well, but was just off target. And actually came off the stick of his own man. I think it was Pong Sak coming across trying to maybe stab that one in towards goal.
That's a nice turn by Yaziri. I've defended it well again though, Singapore. Very strong at the back. Marakan and Yahari and Co. and there's seven minutes to go then in the first half Singapore still leading by that Yohari penalty corner goal and a couple of little scares though with Thailand getting their four penalty corners in a row fouled by Grua Tan with the put in. I need to take it again though. Good ball in again. Oh, what a chance! Glorious opportunity for Thailand, which hasn't been taken, and it's Vong Lembry right in front of goal it came at him a little bit sharply and he couldn't adjust his stick in time to hit the target and Thailand going close to an equalizer yet again Green card for Van der Put. So two minutes out for him.
Pong set. Good stick work there by Zulkelpli. Here's the foul outside the D. He just took his eye off that for a second, rolled over his stick, Grewal. Chance now, all in the open. Oh. And another miss for Singapore, Enrico Maracan. He's come off a Thailand stick. Goalkeeper just pushing it away. It's a good opportunity. It's a good save though by the keeper. Grewal. Driven back in again with pace. Away by the attack on the return and the reverse rather. Still a Singapore ball. Ninety seconds to go then in the first half. Singapore still leading by a goal to nil. Field by Marikan. Now Zelkup, Zelkepli. Forward by Grewal, but possession back with Thailand. Final few seconds then of the second quarter. There goes the who to them for the half-time interval. Singapore got themselves in front in that opening quarter. Just three minutes in when Yahari fired a penalty corner into the top corner beyond the goalkeeper to give his side the lead. Thailand rallied. They had a couple of good opportunities. Four penalty corners, none of which were converted. So at half-time, Singapore have a slender lead in the bronze medal match. They lead Thailand by a goal to nil. And the second half will be coming up in about ten minutes' time.
Il est pas One, two, three. Ça Welcome back to the National Hockey Stadium. The teams are out for the second half. Singapore are 30 minutes away from the bronze medal. But they'll need more goals because Thailand will come at them in this second half. Kim kyung Su just looking on. Very animated again with his half-time team talk. Singapore all in red. Leading by a goal to Nil Yahari in the third minute with that penalty corner goal. of sticks it's a free hit to Thailand on Surya so Thailand have possession that's a wayward pass though from Sadakorn gorgeous afternoon in Kuala Lumpur this afternoon bright sunshine nice warm temperatures blue skies overhead which is just helping to keep the humidity down today Mary Khan. Zul Kepli. That's good play by Silas. Thailand back on the attack with a little bit of space here. That's a lovely ball forward and a great chance if they can get the reverse stick. It's gone behind without a touch. I don't think the goalkeeper touched that. I think it's a 16 yard. In fact, it might be a, a save by the goalkeeper. Surasak it was with a run. Yep, the goalkeeper just got a pad on that. So still possession to Thailand, but a little bit of a let off for Singapore. Surasak wasn't picked up.
Ibrahim took a touch on its way out Sol Kepley good run players over here red shirts in spaces good tackle Norman Teo caught in possession well played by Thailand So it is a short corner, penalty corner. And this is where Singapore have excelled in their last couple of matches. And once again, it's that man, Yahari, that will be the danger man. Have to get the push out right. And here he comes again. Oh, good save. Still, it's not cleared. I think that might have gone against the foot, so the umpire will wait and see if there's an advantage. In fact, he doesn't. So it's just a 23 yard put in for Singapore. Pushed away that time by the goalkeeper. It's a very good save. Not quite as well struck by Yahari as he has previously. no addition to that Yahari goal on three minutes and there's Ibrahim Turn by Borak. Brought down, so penalty corner to Thailand. Just a little trip according to the umpire. And just bundled over. I'm too sure he hasn't lost his footing already there. Borak. But it's a chance for Thailand to try and get themselves in it. They haven't made their most of the previous four. This is penalty corner number five. What can they do here? Hey, 
Well, hit the foot of the post, I think, that time, with the aid of a deflection. It's another penalty corner. Umpire saying it flicked the heel of a defender rather than a stick or the goalkeeper's pads. So, penalty corner number six. Slightly strange angle they're looking at Thailand to try and squeeze this one in. They're going more conventional this time. Shot good played on the line. It was Yahari who scored at the other end, who's blocked the stick on the line, and Bororak has had a go at the umpire about something and needs to be careful. Got a good stick on that Yahari. Umpire just signalling to stop the clock while he sorts out a little bit of descent. Good ball from Yahari to get Singapore moving forward here with Prabash. Vanderput caught in possession. Now we're at Sadakorn. A little trip on the edge of the D on the Ahari, which has been given. It's a short pass given away, cut out by Prebash. Foul just outside the D. It was all Kelpie that was bursting into the D. And now it's a short corner, so penalty corner to Singapore just their third of the match keeper Wallenchern made a decent save from the last one will be Vanderput with the push out That's another good save by the goalkeeper, almost a carbon copy of the first one. And on the reverse sticker, good shot from Merican, which was blocked. And Singapore unable to increase their advantage.
free hit to Thailand for the clash of sticks. Umpire just wants it taken from the correct place. Thailand still not out of this one yet, at just a goal down. It's a good turn by Zolkelpi. Singapore having to defend well. Thailand keep coming at them. Just a few seconds to go in the third quarter. This is a very slender lead at the moment. And there goes the hooter for the end of the third quarter then. So Singapore still holding on to that one goal lead but only just. Huh? Yes. Still not happy with something on the sidelines, Kim Kyung Soo. One of the technical officials drawing the referee's attention or the umpire's attention to something. But at the end of the third quarter, it is Singapore 1, Thailand 0. Look at some of the key moments from that third quarter. That was early on. Good save by the goalkeeper. The reverse stick from Surasak. A couple of penalty corners which Yahari has failed to capitalise on that time. He turned into a good blocker at the other end as well with a good stick on that and then another one pushed away by the goalkeeper. Walan Chem.
토, 오, 벤, 후이, 어태, 벤, 후, 미들, 자, 밤, 넥, 우이, 우이. 쓰리, 너는 만, I think you'd like to get on the wrong side of. Kim Kyung Su. So Thailand have 15 minutes to prevent Singapore taking the bronze medal. Given a good account of themselves, say 3-2 when the sides met in the group stage. Singapore were three up. Goals in the 49th on the 51st minute from Thailand, adding a little bit of respectability to the scoreline. tempered at the moment with Thailand looking to get back into this Panakrit just bumping into the back of Prabash is Tanakit to the Singapore half clumsy challenge by Murdy Ibrahim and he'll get a green card so two minutes on the sidelines Borough rep that felt the full weight of that And Ibrahim in the Simbin. Two minutes. So Singapore lose another player, Yi Ru Tan, green card for him after a couple of minutes. Assume it was a green card, didn't see the umpire actually give out the card. We'll get confirmation in just a sec. American. Uh, well it was American getting the green card, I think Tan has possibly been substituted for the moment.
Oh, no, Tanner Yuri did get a yellow card, so he's out of the game for five minutes. So, numerical advantage in Thailand's favour. Stick short corner. So Thailand continue to threaten here. Penalty corner number seven now. Foul against Sadakorn. Again, they fired wide and no one got a touch on it. It was Vong Lembry with the shot. Pulled it well wide of the post. You can see the player coming in there. I think it was Pong Sat, the player that put the ball in, just coming across, trying to deflect it into goal. yard hit to Singapore they'll just be happy to try and keep Thailand at bay at the moment we're us Growal. free hit Singapore's way Short corner, hit the foot, so this is good pressure for Thailand, looking to get the equaliser. Protective clothing put on by the defenders. Hong Sak again with the push out. Was that ball moved to the side again? Good save by the goalkeeper. We Wei making another good save from the penalty corner. So Kepley wins the free hit. Good reaction by the goalkeeper to get the hand down. 
hit Thailand who are playing almost exclusively in the Singapore half at the moment chase on for Thanakrit but he couldn't keep it in play Slipped there by Tanwa, by uh, Sexit rather, lost his footing. Still the possession with Thailand. Another penalty corner. Empire said it was a trip. Prevash, the man penalised. It's penalty corner number eight, I think, for Thailand. Pong Sak again will be the man to push the ball out. This time they have found a way through. We Wei can't keep it out and Thailand equalise and they finally capitalised on one. And it's Sexit who puts the ball in. So the pressure was bound to tell from Thailand and finally it has. Came off the goalkeeper's foot foot into the top corner but well, he'll be disappointed the keeper with that but Thailand delighted to have got themselves back on level terms and now we're all square Singapore need to put some pressure on now. Want to go into a period of overtime. Bit of really good performance by Thailand and really making Singapore think hard about what they're doing. Grewal. Caught in possession, there's a break on here for Thailand, they've got man over. Oh, he couldn't find the ball. Trying to poke it through was Vong Lembry. And they've got a player either side, it was good defending by Yahari. And now straight away, Singapore on the attack at the other end. Great chance in front of goal. Good defending again, and the free hit goes Thailand's way. Look for a second, as though it would just opened up in front of goal. So that's North Sharp right on the penalty spot, but couldn't get the shot in. Great defending. 
by Tanakit who got his stick across. Still a Singapore ball. No foul. Yohari thought that should have been a, a free hit to Singapore. And now it's a free hit to Thailand. So Thailand finishing strongly here. Inside the final three minutes. Fanakrit gets it across. It'll be Thailand from the 23 yard line. Free hit the umpire once it moved back a little bit. Now can Singapore catch Thailand on the break? Good stick work from Zul Kepli. Now Kamzini, Kamzani. Player came across, penalty corner. Well, this is when you want your Hari now back up at his best. Missed the last one. Surely another one now would give Singapore the bronze. Foul was by Sadakorn. All eyes on one Chalem, the goalkeeper. Here he comes. And forward Jahari. Just joining the huddle. Needs to make this count, you would feel. It is Yahari right the way through and put it through close range for Singapore to take the lead with just 90 seconds to go. Yahari that time couldn't find his way through. It was brilliantly put in on the line by Ian van der Poot, who took the penalty corner. Quick reactions when that came back off the goalkeeper's stick. And he couldn't have been any closer to put that one in to make it 2-1. And a brave effort by Thailand in this second half may well have been in vain now. Ninety seconds to go. Thailand can be proud of their efforts in this bronze medal match. Had a succession of penalty corners which they didn't capitalise on, which um, shoot coach Kim Kyung Soo will point to afterwards. And they might still not be out of it as yet. Just want to get this away from danger now, Singapore. Malaysia and Myanmar were battling out for the gold medal a little bit later on. Singapore wanted to be there in that match, but not to be. But at least it looks at the moment they're 40 seconds away from leaving with bronze. Rajan <laughs> Krishnan knows how close they are now. It's been a, a nervy afternoon for Singapore. Haven't looked at their best. Thailand have capitalised on some errors and this is it now could be the last chance they've got to get back into the game but a free hit on the edge of the D need to make sure this doesn't hit 
foot and go out for a penalty corner. It's a free hit to Singapore as the hooter goes. And that late, late goal from Ian van der Put has given Singapore the bronze medal. Yohari scored the opening goal after just three minutes. But Thailand put plenty of pressure on and from the short corner of their own, Sexit was able to equalise. And when Yohari's penalty corner was pushed out by the goalkeeper, Wallen Cherm, there was Ian van der Put to put him from close range to give Singapore the victory. So they will stick around to get a bronze medal a little bit later on after the gold medal match. Van der Put the hero, van der Put the match winner. And Singapore, as I say, who wanted to be contesting the gold and silver, have had to be content with bronze, but it is a consolation for them. Singapore 2, Thailand 1 is the full-time score. Singapore taking the bronze. Me and Mark will try and cause an upset when they play Malaysia in the gold medal match a little bit later on. Lots of young players in the Singapore side, they will regroup and look ahead now to two years time in the Southeast Asian Games when they hope to be back in contention for the big medals but it is bronze, Ian van der put the number 11 there so it turned out to be the match winner hope you've enjoyed the coverage from the National Hockey Stadium Singapore ending with a medal They've beaten Thailand here by two goals to one, and it is bronze for Rajan Krishnan's side.